bro. Pre show. Pre show. Andrew, yeah, it looks like it's working. Hey. Pre show, pre show. What do you know? Craig X here, Studio 710 pre show for Expert Joints 166. No matter what. Oh, somebody turn that shit off, Lee. Hey, at least you know there's audio. At least we know the audio. Hey, working. what's up? What's up? You want to take the dabs? Pre show dabs. Awesome. Right. Puff are taking dabs here. I'm in the studio. Yeah, watch him take a dab, not me. There you go. There you go. Doing it in the G-Town shirt over there. Looking fresh and gray and green, bro. Uh, there you go. Yeah, so everything looks like it's up. I can sort of see all the chat stuff as well, too. So good. Okay, cool. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Appreciate you being here. Thank you very much for token up and tuning in. We're going to be starting in just a second here. Yeah, good show. <coughs> um, we got our man, the Nomad Chef, Travis Peterson's in the place to be right over here. As his shirt says, what's going on, brother? Um, also, of course, Puff is here. We got music from a cat named uh, Cairo, I believe, is the Cairo song. Cairo well, Hoopa Loop. Hoopa, I don't know what that 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 dude's. That's a, a question. It's an interesting name. Interesting name. No, the first name I would have chosen. But it's not up to me. Uh, my man, doing it. The track is dope, though. Um, so we're gonna have them on as well too. We got some grow tips coming up. Air, and a new chronic cooking video. So we'll get into all that in just a minute. Looks like everything's up and running, of course, for those of you who don't know why we do this and we start, it's because Andrew has all the different streams to start and there's sometimes one of them that doesn't necessarily start properly. So, so we just give the chance in case he needs to restart them. But it looks like everything's up and running, looking pretty good. He's over there eating gummies, so it can't be that bad. So yummy. Can't hear you in my ear though. Is this thing on? Oh. Is this oh, thing oh, on? I can't really hear. There wasn't much volume out here. I see. Anyway, whatever. It's almost 419. We'll figure it out as we go. Big shout out to the chat. Obviously, you know what it is. Papa People holding it down. Loving the chat. Early. Oh, shit. See Kyle Rosner in there. What's going on? Appreciate it. Stoner Spicy over there. Unity Marguerite. What's happening? Over there. People doing a Big Chew. What yeah. it do? Big yeah. Chew. What yeah. it do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All kind of people. You ready for this, man? I'm ready. Perfect. All right. Puffy, you ready? Andrew, I'm you ready? ready? I think we're pretty much all good to go. Parker, you're ready? Yeah, okay, good. Then, uh, Andrew, in just a second here, when it gets to 419, if you would be so kind, you could go ahead and uh, start the video, would you? <laughs> Fuck it, run it now. Yep, there you go. Opinions expressed in the following program are those of the producer and do not necessarily reflect those of Cannabis Life Network, POT TV, Cannabis Culture, or High Times. Hey, what up, man? Oh, wait, we're on. Hey, Craig X, what's going on? 420, what's happening here on the West Coast? Doing it. Light them if you got them, y'all. Episode 166 of Expert Joints Live at the place to be. Of course, it's not your 420. Well, it's mine. So light a joint anyway and watch it. It's like when you see, when you watch somebody like smoking a joint you know, during a movie, you're like, oh, I'm trying to smoke a joint. Same thing. Same thing. Episode 166, Expert Joints Live. Appreciate you coming through here, hanging out with us. Joint 122. Uh, we did the math. Smart guy did the math, and as long as we smoke like 3.75 joints or some shit like that between now and the end of the season, we'll make 182 by 182. But I think we'll be smoking more than that. We'll see how many smoke today, though. 
you never know. Uh, what I do know is uh, last Friday we had episode 34 of Fridays over there on Save On Radio. Just me and DJ Slippy. It's the first episode we did by ourselves and it was pretty dope. So you can check the replay over there on ExpertJoints.com. There's also the Mixcloud page uh, and the High Times TV, of course, as well, too. Check that over there, tv.hightimes.com. You can check that out. And the, uh, the replay of that show and this show and behind the scenes and the audio is all out there. Go check it out. Watch all the different series out there. Make sure you support them. Get the app as well, too. Links down in the video below on how to get all of those things. And there's also a subscribe button right over here. It looks a lot like my thumb here that uh, you should go over there and press as well, too. On the show this week, the Nomad Cook, Travis Peterson, is here, as is the Big Puffa with music from Dab Time uh, by uh, a cat named Cairo. And I think Hoopa Loop, I think, is the other person on the track. Uh, I will debut a new chronic cooking video as well, too. Some grow tips in there along the way as well. We'll make it all happen. Um, new photos to, to no, oh, sorry, no new photos on the Miss Envy picture uh, uh, wall up there. But uh, shouts to Miss Envy, MissEnvy.ca for more information on them. Uh, maybe some new photos next week. But they look kind of good. It's just, it's funny that it fits in just that one spot before it gets all glaring with the lights. Anyway, <coughs> I like the products. My mom likes them, so that's good enough. My mom likes them. That's all you need to say. That's the new sales pitch. Your mom likes them. Um, shall we? End of the show. Some of the island pink got here coming in from the fine folks at Weeds is what I'm going to roll up next. Smoking this a little bit because I quite enjoy it. Smokes real nice. Put it in the bud cam, buddy. Go ahead and put that in there. Clicky, clicky, clicky. Go. Doing it, bug cam. Doing it backwards. I'm gonna stop fucking with it. Doing it backwards. Hey. It's not the easiest thing to do, I tell you. All right, well, fuck it. You get the idea. The island pink over there from the fine folks at Weeds. Weedsgg.ca, I believe, is their website. If I'm just spewing out random facts and websites, you never know when that information might come in handy, especially if you're looking for some more information. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, also, with more information, uh, they on their website you will find uh, they have a glass event coming up as well too. I think with Red Beard, a whole bunch of different artists. So, uh, if you want more information on that, you can also check out their website. Yeah, there it is. That's the picture. March twenty second, the Homegrown Art Show. Check them out there. Get more information from them. Shout out to folks at Weeds for helping support that. And. If you want more information on the Infused Dining Series events happening this weekend here in Vancouver, well, you're in luck. Because, ladies and gentlemen, from the Infused Dining Series, please welcome to the show the Nomad Cook, Chef Travis Peterson. What's going on, boss? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Thanks for coming through. Yeah, thanks for having me. Especially, like, considering you actually are having a, a dinner in, like, two and a half hours. Right? Yeah. It, uh, it was a lot of prep getting up early this morning to make sure enough was done that I could step out. You know, and uh, step back in right away and be ready. So. Well, I appreciate it, man. Well, yeah. we'll let you get back to the quick kitchen fairly quickly. Yeah. I know you want to get back there. Um, but uh, I got to understand that, um, yeah. okay, so you got events happening all weekend long, yes? Yes. And uh, the, uh, the Infused Dinner Series is what it's called. Yeah. There it is. There's the picture there right there. Um, so can you tell us, like, what is the event all about? Like, Absolutely. So we started the Infused Dining Series last 420 here in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, uh, it's a pop-up in a private location. Uh, and um, after doing it here last 420, we had 164 people come through in four days in groups of 12. Like, these were all strangers from all walk, walks of life. It really just kind of inspired me to start taking it elsewhere. So I started renting at Airbnbs in other cities, oh, cool. Toronto, Calgary, Edmonton, Kelowna, Victoria. And I would go and every time, you know, there would be 80 to 100 people uh, buying tickets up, events would sell out. So uh, we actually, just before I came in here, sold out uh, this weekend. So uh -huh. all the spots are go. full. So yeah, there you, go. Um, you know, this is the sixth one we've do done here in Vancouver. It's actually the last one we're going to be doing for a while. Um, going out to Toronto here for four months, so uh, so it's a, it's a special weekend here for myself and uh, any guests that that uh, did get tickets. Well, that's cool, man. I appreciate that. Um, how? Where did you come up with? I guess also to back up as well too. So it's like a 
like in this case, a, a four-course fancy dinner, and this one being brought to you in part by the fine folks at Interior Cannabis, apparently, as well, too, based on the ICC logo on the front there. Um, but it's a, it's a fancy, full-on, like, fancy four-course, well, it's hard to be washed out a little bit on the screen there, but there you can sort of see the idea of the text. Uh, fancy four-course dinner that you got going on here. Yeah, we really want to elevate what people ex think when they think about edibles. Uh, you know, there are, there's a place for brownies and gummies and everything along those mm -hmm. natures. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to expose people to a new dining experience. We microdose individually each person that sits down. Uh, and out of all the infused dining series, about 1,400 guests, 40% of the people that came out either didn't smoke cannabis, right. were new to cannabis, or fall into that kind of curious kind of right, right, category. Right. So it was really important with them coming in, who they were nervous, their shoulders were up there. Oh, I, I had a bad experience in college 15 years ago and yeah. I stayed away. Yeah, it's scary. So the that, block. you know, we get one shot right. at that demographic. Because if they have another bad experience, they're done. It's written off. Yeah. Right? And right now, you know, I wanna I wanna push. I, I see other chefs you know, stepping up and starting to do this. And I think this is Canada's chance to put ourselves on the culinary map. You know, we're the first country that can legally use cannabis and food. Um, not fully legal yet, obviously. We're waiting right. until October. Um, yeah. And so how did it, how, where did it come about? Like, where did you get the idea to just start doing these things? How did, I mean, obviously this is not. Well, I got the idea at, um, actually when the Herbal Chef came to Vancouver oh, last yeah. year. Sure. I saw that him on the front page of the Georgia Strait, and in my mind, I just thought, if the, someone from another country can come and do these dinners, uh, then I'm going to. Okay. I didn't read the fine print, I didn't understand it was <laughs> all CBD. Uh -huh. yeah. um, I jumped right into THC, and uh, you know, then found out there afterwards. So, but you know, I had this moment, my our, our first series I did with my girlfriend, and this table came in, and we had you know four 20-year-old kids who probably hit Shambhala up every summer. Uh, a really wealthy, quiet Asian couple, a couple in their mid-40s, and then a, a 70-year-old widower came by herself. And I said to my girlfriend, you know, this is going to be a tough table for them to interact, like make sure we're really engaged. Mm -hmm. That table traded phone numbers. I'm pretty sure they all went out and got a beer. The 70-year-old the was telling stories to the 19-year-olds. It, it was that moment right there when I was like, this is what I want to be doing as a chef. This That's is what dope. I want to do. because. You know, we don't serve alcohol, it's cannabis only, right. and we're microdosing, we're balancing with CBD, and uh, you know, we're putting out really good food to go along with it. And this is a, your 12th or 13th event or something under this Yeah, the, inf the Infused Dining Series, it's lucky number 13, it's, it's the last one. So as I said, we were doing them out of Airbnbs and right. homes. Uh, we're moving on to some bigger stages now, and so I'm going out to Toronto. We've got some large venues out there where now we can accommodate up to 50 people at a time. Uh, so 420 in Toronto, we mm -hmm. just announced it th today, so. Yeah, their 420 is pretty good. Uh, I've seen the pictures of it. It's not quite 420 here, but I think it'll be you know a good what? time we're to We're going to bring a little of the West Coast flavor out to these. There you go, I love it. Do. I've seen you on TV shows, heard you on the radio, multiple print features, all your related edible adventures. I mean, did, did you think back in cooking school you'd end up on the path that you'd end <laughs> up to? I actually never went to cooking school. And uh, no, this, is, this last year has been a, a whirlwind. Um, it's humbling, um, but I actually used to work in oil and gas in Alberta. Uh, so I was born and raised here in the West Coast, Vancouver, but I moved out to Alberta and I was a business development manager for a British oil company. Uh, in 2015, I found the application for MasterChef Canada mm. four o'clock on a Friday and thought, hey, I can fill this out for an hour and then go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'd watch the show. I cooked every day at home, but I was yeah, no chef. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. When on Monday I got a call and asked to come in and audition, and then all of a sudden I was selected to go on the show. I, I, uh, I literally got there and was like, the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> it was one of the first times I just thought, you know, I can cook, but I'm, but not, I'm not a, a chef, chef right? Yeah. And, you know, I lasted two episodes, so I, I wear that proud, and I had fun doing it. I made some great relationships, and I so, went, went back to my job, and... Uh, Lo and behold, a month later with the recession in Alberta, I was laid off, given severance, and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to start the Nomad Cook, a traveling chef. Mm -hmm. And um, and put weed in it. I didn't think of that until a year ago, and it was funny because I think my whole life I've been trying to find who am I as a person, and, and a chef is my passion. I, lo I love doing this. And, and then as <coughs> a chef, you know, what am I? Yeah. I'm not a restaurant chef, my private chef, what am I doing? 
And the funny thing was, the answer was always right here. Right. Right? The answer was always in front of my face with both things. So put my hands together and... Hey, I get it, man. I was always very good on a microphone, and I was always good at talking to folks, and, and that was my shtick for quite a while. And then when I went and did office jobs, yeah. I just wanted to came up and smoke weed. <laughs> so by the time I just decided to put weed and, and do what I should have been doing instead of what I was doing... Yeah. Here we are. Yeah. So um, you said Airbnb, who's the, and you touched on a wide, diverse number of people and stuff. So, I mean, it really does show that you can kind of do it anywhere with almost anyone as long as you've got yeah. some interest in you it. You know, and, and the key thing, how I went about it is safety is top priority. You know, where I, I'm very, I'm very much anticipating looking forward for regulation to come out in October to see what we can and cannot do. Right. Uh, you know, right now I'm using a distillate. It's supplied by Sky Extracts, who's also a partner of the Nomad Cook now. Uh, we've got our own tinctures they're helping make that we're going to help. You mean uh, like these? Yes. And like those on the screen right there? Yeah. So, uh, you know, I use my THC to help sleep at night. Uh, I find microdosing to a perfect amount and, and not abusing it. Uh, it can help wonders, right? CBD sitting in my kitchen all the time. So. Well, that's exactly it. I mean, that's the difference with the dosing or whatever. And I mean, I know like there's some edibles you can eat them and they say, oh, I got a couple hundred milligrams in there. And you're like, yeah, whatever. And then you got other ones where you eat just a small number of milligrams and you get wrecked off it. And like, I, I think things like fat content or certain ingredients, or do, like, does it not make it vary a little bit depending on what you use and Ab how you use it? Absolutely. So, you know, being that this is so new in the industry, there's, there's a lot of risks that I'm taking mm -hmm. by doing this. And, you know, I'm, I, I, when I was doing these dinners, you know, I always reached out to the Airbnb host and said, you know, I'm a chef prospecting new clients in your city, is it okay if I have a couple dinners, mm. never more than eight people? I left the cannabis part out. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah. But, you know, the guy in Toronto whose house I used three times on the third time, he's like, can I come to your dinner? And I was like, I use uh, cannabis. And he was like, he's, you know, in his mid-50s. And he goes, cannabis? He said, don't you smoke, smell me smoking weed upstairs on the patio every time you're here? And I was like, no, uh, I, <laughs> I thought it was me. Yeah. <laughs> so he ended up, he's like, he brought his <laughs> wife and his son and they came down and they joined our last group and it uh, it was great. You know, where there may have been hesitation a year ago to, to kind of say what I'm doing, I yeah, tell sure. everybody. That. That's cool. Um, yeah. Well, and I mean, with that, I mean, with, with being able to do it THC or CBD and, and I guess like you, you know, add a few drops of a tincture maybe after it's done or something like that, depending on what you're trying, as opposed to like in early yeah, and all the ingredients. And again, it's catering because we'll have a table of 10 mm. and four people at that table are all brand new to this. So five milligrams of THC is all they need. Right. But also at the table, we've got three other people who are total chronics and they want they need 200 to 300 milligrams. That's yeah, just I, I have a funny feeling that if I just left this here out and, and didn't have it clearly labeled, uh, Al the Alchemist would just drink it one morning just thinking it was an energy shot. <laughs> you know, it's only 750 <laughs> milligrams of THC. Uh, that's, that's just like a warm up. I think he... <laughs> uh, so, you know, I mean, it does depend on exactly you knowing your audience and knowing that. I mean, I'll be the first one. I, I'm not a huge fan of eating the edibles. As people yeah. know, I get nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, I have a headache. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to go to bed. But it's just, it's not my whole thing, but I like the CBD. I like the experience of it. So, and my folks have been turned off. What I like about the, you know, the ability to kind of dose it correctly is rather than putting coconut oil or butter or whatever in the recipe and it's just everybody gets the same amount. It's, right. it's not necessarily the same experience for everyone, right? So. And when you microdose and hit people exactly where they mm -hmm. want to be, what I've seen more time than not is that person whose shoulders, they're nervous, all of a sudden they're relaxed right? and they're sharing a story. No one's ever getting too animated. Yeah. The, the laughter, it kind of hums, you know, you're in the kitchen, it you know, brings a smile to my face. I just, right. I love, I love, I've served still people who like to drink at events sure. now, but when we do, the cannabis events, it's strict policy mind of like no alcohol. Right, right. Right? Alcohol has its place, but more times than not, people come and I say, Have you ever had a cannabis dinner before? And they're like, No. And I'm like, Great, have have this experience. Sure. And then be able to measure. Right. right? Well, I mean, that's exactly. If you have a positive experience, people can get into that, and that's what's important. You don't want to have a, a you know, I'll call it lack of a term, bad trip. But if you don't have a positive edible cannabis experience, it can kind of go really in a in a bad way. Yeah. So, so I mean, uh, we, f you you obviously have these products now available as your own. Yeah, going absolutely. forward, uh, available more information on the nomadcook.ca, yeah, nomadcook uh, or you yeah, can so shoot so. me an email. Hey, uh, there it is, right there. 
Yeah, look at you doing it right here on the website and making yeah. it look good. Yeah. So now, if people want to come and not consume too much, can you like do a course or two without any? Absolutely. So we have people come that have strictly just CBD. Mm. We also have people come; they're supporting their partner and they don't want anything in it, and that's completely right. fine. That's right? Cool. You know. So. And what about if like people come to the event, you sort of touch on the neighbor and shit like that? But like, well, do can people do dabs and smoke weed or generally enjoy some, cannabis? Some of the, the the events were 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 operating. Like we did one a Christmas thing at the um, Amsterdam Cafe down in the basement. It was yeah. awesome. Santa Claus came, yeah, right, kind right, of right, fun, right, right. Um, but a smoke friendly environment. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, when we were doing the Airbnb things, it was strictly an edible experience. And right? this weekend. This weekend was an edible experience. Okay, um, <laughs> and uh, well, I was going to say because if it gets too smoky, you can always get a neutralizer to go ahead and just get rid of right, uh, that smell. I'll take care of it yeah, in no oh, time, man. For more information, neutralizer.eu, and hopefully on the website pretty soon as well too. Literally, that will get rid of any smell, guaranteed. So uh, anyway, if you got a, a few events coming up to this weekend, you already said that they're all sold out. Yeah, course, this so. one it was just uh, we quickly kind of popped up last week that we were going to do it, and uh, you know people jumped at it. It uh, it always as you get closer. Just Fancy on the menu tonight. Uh, you want to go ahead and read off the menu? Yeah, there, absolutely. So our first course we're going to do is sort of a deconstructed potato and leek soup. Uh, so fondant potatoes, uh, some beer braised leeks, pancetta, and buttercream sauce. Mm. Our right. uh, second course we're going to do a stout marinated pork loin, uh, miso corn puree, roasted red peppers, chicharron, and cilantro. Fancy. Right. Third course, uh, wild Pacific coho, uh, forbidden rice, green beans, and a spicy peanut sauce. And then we're going to finish it off with a sticky toffee pudding, dolce de leche, and a salted caramel gelato. Damn, gelato. sounds like quite the feast tonight, man. I'm sure it'll be all over, uh, uh, all over Instagram. People will be seeing. Yeah, uh, we've got some. We're, tonight we just we've invited some people to come out and share their experience. So if you follow like uh, Matchstick Marijuana, right, uh, you'll Trust see kind of what's going on. Uh, we got Piper Courtney from the Straight Cannabis coming out. Craig, yeah, you coming. Right, right. Should right. be good night. Should be good yeah. night. Well, shouts to. Uh, just ICC over here for helping me all Absolutely. put it on, and everybody who goes tonight making it happen. Hope you have a good, successful event. Uh, obviously, the uh, weather has been not the most cooperative the last uh, the last several hours here, but I mean, it's is what it is. Could be you know, worse. We we've got it good. I travel all over the country. I was in Edmonton minus twenty eight, mm -hmm. and then we went to Toronto. It was snowing, uh, and I uh, come home and. It's it's beautiful here, so. Ah, uh, well, I love it. Oh, I to just, rub it into the rest of the country. Uh, speaking of rubbing it, <laughs> I just got weed in my eye. Uh, uh, Andrew, quick, go to commercial. Uh, uh, uh. No, seriously, no, uh, no. Uh, thanks. Uh, no, make sure you check him out uh, on Instagram. Like I said, uh, the Nomad Cook for uh, for more and throughout the night, and check the tags and watch all those different people who are being there as well too. And um, yeah, should be a good event. Uh, thank you for coming by. I was telling about it. I got to take a dab though for a minute because it is dab time. Come up here in a second. Plus, yeah, like I said, I got weed in my eye. Ah, Andrew. different types of people come together and how like type of recreational it is. I would r rather not. Why? We're old friends and we're trying to do something for my show here. Yeah, but I'm from Ireland. Okay. I live in England. Okay. I'm in Barcelona. Yeah, and we're from Vancouver and Ottawa in Canada. Who cares about Canada? <laughs> Canada is just then like why would shit. You let you come into yeah, this is this is for an interview for Canada. Yeah. So. But your friend lives in Toronto. <laughs> yes. She hates me. Why? Oh, please. Oh, please. Let me. Let me. Let me. <sighs> when in Barcelona, people. Of your show.
Joining us today for dab time, from man, the big puffer. What's going on, dog? Hey, how you doing? Chilling, feeling good. How about you? Doing good, man. Everything's lovely. Uh, today we are dabbing products over here from Sec. Products mm. by Sec. Sec. This stuff. The, the Lunar Alchemy. Uh. Oh, hold it, wait, there. There it is. See this one? Ah, uh, it'll be easier if I put it over in the, the dab uh, cam. In the dab yeah. cam. Let's go ahead and click on that, and then that, and then. Oh, did it too many times. Wait, this one. Wait, wait back. One more. Wait, there. Wait, yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Wait, no. Wait, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm doing it. Shut up, Andrew. You'll full screen you. There you go. There you go. Boom. Check it out. Lunar Alchemy Butter doing it over there. Plus, you also uh, wanted to get some little CBD dabs. I got a little bit of that very as well too. But uh, if you're interested in what I'm looking at, and I'm going to be dabbing over here. This is uh, from the folks by Products by Sec. I want to check that out. Just a suggestion. If you don't want to, I don't know. Your choice. Up to you. Your yeah. choice. Uh, your choice on music today, my friend, is um, a song by a couple of gentlemen named Cairo and Hoopaloop. Yep. Um, but the song is a very appropriate title. It's called "Smoke Something." Smoke. Okay. Well, shit, man. If you like this, uh, if you like the song, you can get it down in the uh, link down there in the YouTube descriptions. There's yeah, the whole click that. To be able to click that and get that, and uh, we're about to hit that. Yeah, smoke some. Yeah, right. All right, cool, man. Well, with that, uh, Andrew, run it. It's dab smoke time. Smoke something. Go ahead, man. I'll take that. All right. Uh, Travis, there's some dabs down there if you want, if, if you're a dab guy. In the jar there. There's a carb cap and everything. Pretty much everything you need. Smoke a blunt when I wait, cause you know I can't wait. If you can't stand the smoke, then you just might fancy me. I'm a pro, I ain't doing this for show. Been smoking since before my mustache started to grow. As a youth, pass it around with the boys before class. Throw me up a spliff, mix it with a little hash. Staring at the girl walking with the fat ass. She was mad, cause my crew always smell like lick grass. Ain't no way around it, you can smell it on my clothes. Never fucked with that coke, nothing going in my nose. But that boy Cody is known for the OG. Double meaning when they say my Roll so deep, uh, yeah, we hold deep. Gas always fire in the stash. Smoking hour after hour, and I'm trying to make it last. It ain't nothing setting fire to the ass. Let that blunt burn slow while I'm counting up cash. Smoke something, roll something, finna blow something. Smoke something, roll something, finna blow something. Smoke something, roll something, finna blow something. Drow puff a dough cuffer, bro, you can't yep. hold nothing. Smoke something, roll something, finna blow something. Smoke something, roll something, finna blow something. Smoke something, roll something, finna blow something. Something drove up a don't cover, bro. You can't hold nothing. <laughs> Dreads looking like a lion with a mane. My chalice giving me balance okay. as I'm firing the Jane. So many Work. people aspiring for fame. Eyes bugging out, admiring the chain. Use a lame, should be focused on your chain. Stack it up and make it count. I turn a nickel to a dime, smoking pine in the drought. Traveling the countries I can't pronounce. Roger Trapman told me that it's more bounce to the ounce. So I smoke as I roll through the city in the night. Bad mind, people better take flight. I ain't got no time to waste with your presence. Every second that I'm getting is a blessing. Never stress, I'm finna smoke something, roll something, finna blow something. Smoke something, roll something, finna blow something. Smoke something, roll something, finna blow something. Drove up a dope cuffer, bro, you can't hold nothing. Smoke something, roll something, finna blow something. Smoke something, roll something, finna blow something. Something. Smoke something, roll something, finna blow something Drope off a dope cover, bro, you can't hold nothing Man of medicine, I do away with evil Can't see you through the smoke from my pre-roll Cuff the pulls, then it's headed to my big bowl Poking the road, follows us wherever we go Can't do another one Stacking C-notes, poking the show Money off a lingo, sunny weather in the snow Everybody knows soon as we hit the dough Fat rap beat slap, plus the smoke's gone blow Smoke something, roll something, finna blow something 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 since a teen, we were known for packing switches. Ask around, everyone will tell you I ain't acting different. Back with full prescriptions, had to hide it in my sock vest, taking pictures like a fan. Let them watch, cause your boy ain't breaking no law. Mad cause the way we flow so raw. Reverse, I'm the one you gon' call. Won't stall, never slip, won't fall. Told y'all I'm finna smoke something, roll something, finna blow something. Smoke something, roll something, finna blow something. Smoke something, roll something, finna blow something. Drink off a dope cover, bro. You can't hold nothing. Smoke something, roll something, finna blow something. Smoke something, roll something, finna blow something. Smoke something, roll something, finna blow something. Drink off a dope cover, bro. You can't hold nothing. <laughs> Cairo and Hoopa Loop smoke something. Yeah. I did. If you want to smoke something, try.
Try smoking something from the fine folks at Product by Sec. They're known for their gummies, <laughs> but their Lunar Alchemy Butter is no joke either. I tell you that much as well, too. Um, <laughs> while you're following things, it's the Sky Blue Valley Kid <coughs> on Instagram. That's how you find Cairo. <coughs> <coughs> Links in there to all the songs, all the videos, everything down there. While you're on Instagram, Lord Keezy. Lord Keezy, yeah. He's doing it right there. Look, you're wearing a G-Town shirt in the I middle am. right there. Boom, that's a good looking photo, bro. Yeah, click that link in the bio and visit the website, gtown604.com, <coughs> to get one of the t-shirts. Yeah. That's just a little tip for you. Speaking of tips, where I tip for you, too. A grow tip. Grotis, brought to you by TNV Naturals. Here, you saw them on the show a while back, man. For more information on TNV Naturals, and want to learn more about their products, especially if you're growing your four legal plants here in Canada, which is, you know, kind of cool, I guess, to some degree. You can check them out, tnvnatural.com. Follow them on Instagram, tnv underscore naturals as well, too. Check them out. Um, now, in this segment, I was supposed to have Derek from TCC. Andrew, do you have Derek from TCC? I do not. You do, uh, sorry, not TCC. Wait, I see. Wait, no. He, no, he's gone back growing. That's what it was. Yeah, anyway, remember our homeboy Derek from TCC? Well, he's, he's not, that, that's, that's, we'll talk about that another time, but TCC's no more. He's gone back growing. And on Instagram, he's gone back growing. But he actually had to go back to Canloops or Kelowna or wherever they're from there, from the interior, you know, region. Um, oh, it starts with a K. It's like I never remember after that. Um, but the weather, traffic issues, it had been snowing through the mountains and getting across there and I think some of the paths were closed so he didn't make it and uh, I was hoping to get him via Skype but he's not here so I'm not 100% sure what we do. Suggestions? Oh wait, wait, I don't, um, I guess we can wake up Al. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. I hate to do this. Um, Al, uh, sorry to wake you, buddy. Fuck you, David Suzuki. Oh, Jesus, not again. Uh, Al, yeah, there's a mic. There, there you go, buddy. Hey, big guy. So, uh, yeah. Sorry yeah. to wake you up, brother. I know you had a hard yeah. night with Action Bronson last night hanging out. Uh, um, Derek was supposed to do grow tips. But he got caught in the weather. Yeah, D Derek's not here, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's the point. Derek's not here. But you're <laughs> here, sort of. Um, you think you can give us a grow tip or something just while you're like, I don't mean to wake you up uh, or just ambush you. but grow, grow, A grow tip. Yeah, for sure, mm, bro. Don't get caught. O okay. Oh, well, wait. No, we did that you one. You gave me that hang one. Hang on. Hang on. I'm coming to. I'm, I'm coming to. So let me smoke this joint here. Class in session 999 now, Al the Alchemist over there on Instagram. All right. All right. Yeah, grow tip. All right. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh, you guys are doing to... a, You guys got a show going on here. Yeah, man. Yeah, we're right in the middle of the show and everything. Yeah, sorry to break that to you. All right. Well, you know, Travis, Al, Al, Travis. How you doing, G? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, grow tips. Uh, what, do you, what, what do you want to know? Well, last time you did, like, pH balance and stuff. I don't know. You, I mean, you, you know lots about genetics and stuff. You know, stuff, I, I, I would say... Get to know your strains, okay. you know, like every varietal has different thresholds. What can it take as far as feeding? What can it take as far as lack of feeding? Get to know what those thresholds are within your varietals. Know what, uh, you know, what its limits as far as heat are, what its limits as far as cold are, what its limits as far as drought, um, pest resistance, all of that stuff. Once you get to know your varietal, you can really, really dial in specific traits that you want to harness in phenotypic response because you know how it performs in this environment or that environment. You know, maybe there's a trait that comes out when it's too hot that's desirable. Maybe there's a trait that comes out when it's a little too cold that's desirable. Maybe it's not about hot and cold. Maybe it's about just the fluctuation of nighttime and daytime temperatures and, and the, the 
the, the difference uh, in, in that window, maybe it's a 10 degree difference, maybe it's a 20 degree difference in right. night and day temperatures. You know, but get, get to know your varietals. Well, yeah, invest in the time to get to know them to get maybe the best out of them or tweak them a little bit the way you want them. Yeah, and, the, and that way you can, you can start dialing in different, different traits. So if you're bored of the way it's growing this way, you can change the way it's growing and change its, its sort of character, um, character traits, its, its, <coughs> its, its uh, phenotypic identification. Well, shit, that's yeah. a pretty good tip for just waking you up there. And it's lucky you had joint 124 with you as well, oh, too. Shit. Yeah, I tell you. Yeah, that actually. Anyway. I'm having I'm these nightmares about David Suzuki. Man. Again? I thought you guys squashed pretty. your beef. Yeah, we did. And then I saw him at the gym, and he was giving me the evil eye. Uh-oh. It's Could crazy. be back on. Crazy. That would be, that could get ugly again. It's crazy. You guys don't even know what happened to me. Oh, yeah. man. David Suzuki and I got into it. Got it. it was years, bad. Years, it was years. ugly. We went anyway. It was years. It's a Winnipeg thing. Mm -hmm. It's a turf war. But anyway, that's all I can say. Yeah. Um, whoop. As I'm knocking over everything over here. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Scrolling around and stuff. Well, I mean, that's really all I got. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to just put the mic back where you found it, I guess. Just go back to sleep here. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's as good as any. Help yourself to a dab if you want or a subby hit or something. But Go back to the show. Yeah, it's on. Go ahead, help yourself. Uh, in the meantime, um, uh, I gotta ask you four questions anyway. Yeah. So, uh, thanks for TMB Naturals as well too. For like I said, for uh, bringing us the Grow Tips uh, segment as well as thanks to Hal the Alchemist for uh, for the actual Grow Tips. Class in session nine 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 now on Instagram, and of course they're TNB Naturals on Instagram. Um, yeah, four questions, Andrew. All right, four questions I ask everybody on the show, the same ones. Travis, uh, how and when did you get into weed in the first place? Where did that start? Where did you smoke your first joint? Uh, I saw my dad smoking it out on the patio. He put half of it out and hit it, and then I went later, took it, and smoked it. <laughs> However, that was not the first time I got high. No. First time I got high was grade eight math class when a girl named Robin took me home to go for lunch and her older brother was there with a bong and I just hit a bong for the first time. Yeah. And I went back to math class and <laughs> I've never been so out of my tree in my life. So. And two plus two equal 420. Uh, yes. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> I get it. No, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, your preferred method of consumption? Yeah, I mean, take a, take a pillow, man. You, I don't know if there's a blanket or whatever, but you're good. Anyway, <laughs> thanks, buddy. Take a blanket. We'll, we'll try and keep it down, man. Yeah, That's whatever. All right, All right well, grotesque. I'll yeah. yeah. Uh, your preferred method of consumption, I'm a guessing eating blunt. edible? No, no, a blunt. You like smoking blunts? I like, I like everything about rolling the blunt, um, smoking the blunt, the love of the blunt. So, yeah. The love of the blunt. Love of the blunt. He likes blunts and he can't deny. Um, how much do you consume every day, all day, once in a while over here uh, and there? Every day. I'm actually slowly cutting back on that. Um, as I'm getting busier and busier, I need, uh, you know, there's, there's the right moment for me to be smoking, and I can't be doing the all day burning of the blunts anymore. You know. So. Yeah, it's tough. It's it's the blunts. The blunts get you after a while. Plus, also they take a particular time commitment as well too. They kind of <coughs> known to attack once in a while. So, um, in when you look back at all of the most memorable strains and some that stands out as like the most memorable bag of all time. You know what it was? And well, it the most memorable bag of weed, it, and it's most it's a very recent story. I was in New York for the first time. Uh, I was helping some other chefs at the James Beard House. Um, however, on my tourist day of walking around, obviously, there's no cannabis around there for me to get my hands on. Um, I was in Times Square, and a guy came up to me and said, do you want to buy my CD? And I said, no. And he goes, do you want to buy some weed? And I said, yes. And so he walked me around, and I paid $30 US for a little vial that was about a gram. However, it smelled good, so I was, I just, right. whatever. Yeah. I went in the middle of Times Square, I rolled up a little blunt, I smoked it. I was so blitzed walking down Fifth Avenue. <laughs> I was like, there are so many people around me. Like, I, I, it just brought me back to a childhood, like the teenage years when you get started. Like, ah, like, yeah. And it, it's just so rare that happens to me, so it was, oh. it was a great moment. 
Uh, well, I appreciate you sharing, man. Uh, speaking <laughs> of sharing, actually, and you know, I know you're a cook, but I got a series called Chronic Cooking, and the recipe definitely not as anything fancy as he's going to be putting on, especially tonight over there. But hopefully, you will enjoy this well put together video, Andrew. <laughs> a good time at the 420 event there, Bill? <laughs> it sure is great that patients can have such easy access to their medicine today. Wouldn't it be nice if we could have that all the time, Bill? <laughs> Bill, <laughs> calm down, Bill, Bill, Bill. <laughs> Creamy Kale Smoothie. Everywhere you go, there's a smoothie bar or someone sipping on a protein shake. They're cool and all, and I like one for something quick when you're on the go sometimes. But theirs don't have weed in them like this one does, and this could not be any simpler, really. Chop one cup of kale coarsely, removing most of the stem, and put it in a blender. Add one and a half cups of frozen pineapple chunks, a half cup of plain fat-free Greek yogurt, a half cup of low-fat milk, and one tablespoon of infused honey. Then blend that mixture until it's smooth and frothy. On a side note, you could also substitute frozen mango chunks and or infused maple syrup or even infused tincture drops too if you'd rather. Anyway, after that, pour it all into a tall glass and drink it. Straws, of course, are optional. It's on, it's on the sheet and everything. Uh, anyway, I gotta say thank you very much to CLN for helping me, help me with the, uh, uh, happy birthday. Um, uh, thanks to CLN for helping with the uh, well put together chronic cooking video. Nice, simple, easy one. Uh, in your choice, again, on straws. Paper ones, that's whack though. Uh, anyway, <coughs> uh, thank you to all my guests today, including my man Shav Travis, the nomad cook over here. Uh, plug, shout outs, things we missed, what else is going on? Uh, well, I'm gonna go. Like I said, bring the West Coast to the East. I'm uh, moving to Toronto for four months. Lots of cool things happening, but 420. We, it's Saturday, so we're doing brunch at 11. We're doing dinner at 4. Uh, we can take 50 people each seating. It's downtown. Uh, we have fun events. We're also looking for partners. Uh, any businesses out there that want to come and, and be part of it? We put on really good events. So come out and join us. Joint 125 going on over here as well now, too. Uh, the uh, Yeah, it's Toronto, big scene. I'm sure you'll do well over there. Say what's up to my boy Daverman over there. Tell him I say hi. Um, the, uh, of course, this weekend, watch for, watch for more about the uh, event happening this weekend. If you're in the Toronto area, hit the dude up. Go check it out, man. We'll see how the food is tonight. I'm sure it'll be delicious. I heard from Derek that your event in, in Kelowna was uh, quite tasty. Yeah, we did all dessert. Five courses of dessert. Oh, dude. I wish I would have. Uh, oh. I was going to say thanks very much to Al the Alchemist for going over there and uh, giving us a grow tip, but he seems to, he and Parker both seem to be, okay. 
Well, class in session 999 is how you find him as well, too, if you're checking things out. Um, of course, my man, the Nomad Cook over there, we plugged that as well, too. Also, Cairo, thank you very much. Um, the, the light blue valley kid, that's what it is, right? Uh, the sky blue valley kid, that's what it was. Uh, check him out as well, too. Thanks for playing the track as well. And the puff of my man as well, too, holding it down over there. Yeah. Plug shout outs, bro. Yo, go follow me, Lord Geezy on Instagram. Go click the link in my bio, listen to my new song, Strong. Go to gtown604.com, copy your tees. Um, yeah, just stay tuned, you know. Lots of dope things coming. Really excited for, you know, 420's coming up soon. And, like, you know, so it's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate you coming through for another episode, Travis. Thank you for being here as well, too, man. Uh, also, uh, thank you for everybody else here uh, who's watching. Make sure everybody appreciates Shout out to the in. chat. Keep watching all the shows on Pod TV, Cannabis Culture News with, uh, with uh, Jeremiah Vandermeer and Mr. Cookie on Fridays, High Noon with Alyssa and Nico on Saturdays at 12 o'clock, the 420 Lifestyle with Carly Marley and BC Budgal on Monday from Under the Influence with Greg Manowet, Marijuana Man Williams, and occasionally all the Alchemists on Wednesdays at 4, and of course, Tune in to Fridays at 2 on Fridays on SaveOnRadio.com. And behind the scenes, also Twitter and Periscope. You can find all the links to ExpertJoints.com. That's tomorrow with DJ Slippy at episode five, 35 featuring guests from episode number one that you saw in the break there, all attached to 420, which you also saw in the break there. Jeremiah Vandermeer is back to talk all about this year's Fast Approaching 420 event. There's much been talked about in the news, so we'll get the guy pretty much behind the whole thing to come talk about it on the show. So that'd be cool. So we're also, in that episode, while we're doing that during the smoke break, we'll make sure we smoke some of these Fukushima pre-rolls over here. The folks at the Fukushima pre-roll factory. If you want more information, go getfooked.ca. Check them out. I'd also appreciate, of course, if you hit that subscribe button down there, and I'll appreciate all you people watching on the Expert Joints YouTube page and on the uh, Facebooks over there, and Cannabis Culture as well, too. Uh, What's that one on there? Joe, Evil, Dave. What's going on, Hedgehogger? Love dirt work. What's happening, everybody? Appreciate you, Scoutmaster Bailey. Everybody who's in here, Morgan Phoenix, Shaggy420, everybody, Marvis Parvis, Ray Morris, all these people who watch week after week, Silver Lake. I see a lot of names. I see a lot of familiar faces and some new ones as well, too. What's going on, Thomas Q, Patty Pump One? What's happening, everybody there? 159, Dorina. Appreciate you gals and girls and everybody who's tuning in somewhere in between. You do what you want to do, man. Just make sure you follow me uh, over there. Expert joints. Appreciate that. We'll be back here uh, uh, 167 episode next week. Um, Ooh, yeah, right? Uh, the SEC girls are going to stop by, talk about an event they've got coming up. But uh, I don't know. I think there's somebody else coming to. I'll have to check. Stay Special. Tuned for the we got, uh, music. got some music. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we got, yeah, 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 yeah. We got a live got performance music. in here as well, too. That's going on as well, too. Should be a cool show. Big Puffer Strikes again. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, hey, I'm going to say, man. Well, shouts to Andrew and Cannabis Life Network and all the whole crew for you. So if you're ready, then we'll see you next week. Andrew, hit the music. I'm going to try it. Wait, 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 wait. Does that, does that count? Sure. Let's still 120 off. Hit the music. <laughs>